Good evening. Well, it certainly has been a most eventful couple of weeks for British boxing. Barry McGuigan forced to retire by Jim McDonnell. The Dark Destroyer, Nigel Benn, eclipsed by Michael Watson. And Sammy Ritson's bid for the WBC Cruiserweight title, thwarted by Carlos de Leon. But tonight, Geordie Glenn McCrory goes for another World Cruiserweight title, the vacant IBF version against the African Patrick Lumumba. McCrory, a patent failure as a heavyweight, rehabilitated as a cruiser to take Commonwealth and British Championship honours. And Lumumba, a tough handful from Kenya, but now a Swedish national, comes to this fight as an underdog. He admits to only 11 fights in five and a half years, and he's been inactive for 13 months. Well, this is the first world title fight ever to take place in the Royal Thies, and I can tell you that Glenn McCrory will not be short of support here at the Louisa Centre in Stanley, because he lives just down the road. That familiar partnership of Reg Gutwich and Jim Watt will be ringside, but now let's get the official introduction from the Master of Ceremonies. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening, on behalf of John Spensley, Cedric Kushner Promotions, sponsored by Budget Windows and Derwentside Council, the International Boxing Federation World Cruiserweight title. 12 three-minute rounds of boxing. Introducing on my right from Kenya, he boxes out of New York, US of A, Patrick Lumumba. <laughs> On my left, from Anfield Plain, Derwentside, <laughs> Glenn McCrory. The weigh-in today, McCrory scaled 13 stone 8 pounds, Lumumba scaled 13 stone 5 and 3 quarter pounds. Your officials this evening, your referee from Hackensack, New Jersey, Mr. Randy Newman. Your judges, Christian Woolerson of Portsmouth, Virginia. Bernie Frederick of Brooklyn, New York, Michael Giella of Chicago, Illinois. Your supervisor is Bob Lee Jr. of Plainfield, New Jersey. Your inspectors, David Ogilvy, and your timekeeper, Albert Kelleher. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the International Boxing Federation World Cruiserweight title. Thank you. very much the, the first close-up and tension time for young Glenn McCrory there and this is a real hard nut Lumumba Jim White and I have seen inside in America he came into the ring sweating profusely but looks as though Lumumba is going to fly from the start 13 stone 8 pound division is between light heavyweight and heavyweight the vacant international boxing federation championship of the cruiserweight division so the first Northeast man to challenge for a world championship, and uh, what a feat it would be. Second out up from for round virtually one. if he could bring it on. Bit of problem at the weigh-in last night. IBF insisted 24 hours before a pound overweight McCrory, but he shifted it okay, and that's why they make some uh, boxes now have to weigh in night before, so that's not too much of a strain to get weight off. Just as well, we've got a strong heavyweight referee, former boxer Randy Newman. This is his 12th World Championship fight with the IBF. McCrory has taken stock of Lumumba. He watched him box in Atlantic City and he defeated Alonzo Ratcliffe. And then they used Ratcliffe as a sparring partner to get some experience. So he really has done all the groundwork now, and now it's set. 
but it all matters. Charles Mumba Jim in a contest on the, the Bruno Witherspoon bill at uh, Wembley when he defeated an ordinary American heavyweight called Walter Santamore. He's a bit deceptive, Jim Lumumba. He sort of strikes when it suits him and then has a little sleep when it suits him uh, from the contest I've seen him in. Yeah, but it's uh, not a bad technique. It's been a good positive sharp start from McCrory, but uh, throughout his career, I thought his chin has maybe been carried a little bit high and a couple of times already uh, he's been caught with his head up in the air. He's going to have to, if he's going to hold his head high, he's going to have to step back out of harm's way a little bit quicker or either that or get his chin down. Well, in his heavyweight days, of course, he, he suffered a bit from McCoy. Leroy Curry knocked him over at Oldham. But he's come on a lot since then, and surviving almost 100 sparring rounds with Mike Tyson, the man himself, is a great feat, and he's even got a signed certificate to prove it, and was never on the deck. Half a minute to go in the opening round. Oh, what a good left hook, and he's... For a minute, I thought it was acting, but nobody could act that badly. What a turn-up for Glenn McCrory. If he can stop this fella in the opening round, is he going to run out of time? The number's really gone here, Reg. He's all over the place. He's been taking account of Gavin Holder McCrory. I don't think he knows where he is. What a lovely left hook from McCrory. That must give him all the confidence in the world. Well, I tell you, Jim, when he first nailed him with that punch, it looked as though he wanted to do a silly take-off of Ali, and then you realise he was really hurt by it. I mean, he was almost like a rag doll in there. He was shattered by that punch. That got him all the way down to his ankles. He didn't know what to do. He didn't know where to go. He should have taken a counter, grab hold, but he did nothing. He just stood there, and he's very fortunate still to be in this fight. We see this left hook coming. I look at his legs all over the place. He's stunned. He doesn't know where to go. Down he goes. And there's the overhead shot there. It really is remarkable performance because I've seen Lumumba and believe me, he's a real hard nut and that's some punch. And if that's what McCraw has learned from Mike Tyson, well, now can he carry it on? All the confidence in the world and he's done it the hard way. He's come off the goal cue for making it in this game. Two. Second round then. He's got, to, he's got to be careful and pick them nicely, uh, Jim. He mustn't fall in like that way short. Yeah, but uh, he's, still, he's still in control of what he's doing. Uh, he hasn't gone in uh, too hot-headed. He realises that Lamumba's probably recovered from the effects of the punch. But at least he knows he has the power to shake him up. And uh, obviously he'll be looking for that shot again. Well, I tell you, 13 months in activity, and I suppose even with the hardest of sparring with head guards on, Lumumba wasn't ready to get tagged with a good punch like that. And there's no, no point in him if he came in showing contempt for McCrory. He's, he's had to pay for it. I think Lamumba's been shocked by that punch. I think he's been looking at McCrory's record and uh, believing that he didn't have the power to trouble him, but he knows different now. It's actually only... He stopped nine opponents out of uh, 25 wins, McCrory. Now you can see why he doesn't get too many fights, Jim, because the opponents don't fancy the style of Lamumba. He's so awkward. He's beginning to land some kind of dangerous looking punches of his own now. Matori's going to have to tighten up a little bit and just pick his shots. Gotta get out of that corner. It's...
can't blame Bakori trying to bide his time. He can't fall in and get tagged by what the old-fashioned sucker punch. So coming up then to the end of the second, scheduled of course a 12 round championship. stone eight pounds right on the button then McCrory second attempt 13 pounds and three quarters Lumumba Jim this is where Lumumba started to get uh, a little bit back and yeah, this a couple, replay. couple of dangerous punches from Lamomba just in this little spell, but uh, Lamomba's never really been able to put punches together. McCrory's moving around well, taking a few chances here and there, but his own punches are very good. Well, as I say, he was pouring with perspiration when he came into the ring. Now they'll have to throw a lot of water over him to revive him the end of the first. Glenn McCrory from Anfield Plain in Durham and the Mumba from Kenya and uh, became a Swedish national citizen and now is working out in the Don King camp in Cleveland, Ohio. riding those punches now Jim as you said earlier he's holding the head a little bit high and tight isn't he there yeah well the number's really putting on the pressure here McCrory would be better advised I think just to survive for a half minute or so before he comes back into it he doesn't want to trade with Lamumba although he has the power to shake him as we've seen he can't afford to take chances and Lamumba wouldn't keep this pace going McCrory would be better just being a little bit careful and get back behind the jab keep his chin down Picked up a great deal of experience boxing in America, McCrory, with Bo Willie for the former heavyweight who's on a good camp in Louisiana. 50 members, believe it or not, of the McCrory family here tonight, so he's getting all the encouragement from outside the ring. So we're midway then through the third. to go in the third and it's uh, he's flailing away with a lot of punches here in the Mumba. the bookmakers made McCrory favorite I think that was uh, well showing a bit of a bit too much loyalty there because on, on the form the Mumba really was an even money shot whatever happened Shaky again there, Red. Every time McCrory lands with a clean shot, it seems to be shaking him up, so it obviously has the power to finish this. the ring on his knees and there he is uh, the American is saying now he's really transformed this lad because he had quite a losing run at one time enough to dishearten most people 
and then came back, won the Commonwealth and the British Championships at Cruiserweight. Now, this McCrory replay, Jim, here, he started to flick some punches out there and got through. Yeah, well, we've, we've seen a big improvement in McCrory's punching in this fight. The performance all the way around. start of each round now we're coming out for the fourth the number's doing a few exercises in the corner even to get himself going and there's desperate signs use the jab now for Glenn McCrory advantage of that Jim he slipped in nicely and then missed yeah but too bad but the main thing is he has the moves and he, a couple of times I felt McCrory's just one punch away one clean punch away from being champion he's shaking the up a few times although most of the good punches he's taken himself he's taken them high they haven't troubled him so he just wants to keep his wits about him here I think he knows now he's good enough to beat this man to see him use the old-fashioned what was called the English straight left a bit Jim because this fellow's made for it isn't he yeah I would like to see him just maybe a, a little bit careful for the first half of this fight he's taken quite a few chances but he, he's gotten away with it but uh, a couple of times they uh, taking the chances has worked for him he's almost got Lamamba out of there but he wants to be nice and careful because I think it, with his long accurate punching he can inflict a lot of damage in the second half see when he stands off leaves him for a bit of room his long accurate punches are troubling Lamamba Minute to go in this round, and referee Newman reminding Lumumba not to pull the opponent on. So there they are, the straight punch is far more effective now with McCrory. The judges come from uh, Virginia, Chicago, and New York. If it does go 12. count would continue it only stops in the last round the drink the referee walked over and just had a, a little gargle there he's feeling the heat as well and his packed hall at the, the louisa center and stanley round five and we're into the fifth round of this championship fight then international boxing federation at 13 stone eight and the wc bc champion is carlos de leon who defeated britain semi recent recently and previously held by a very popular and good fighter Ivan de holyfield and a Frenchman, uh, Belbouli, holds the WBA version. <laughs> he chops the punches at strange angles, Lamumba, Jim, doesn't he? Yeah, this is about as dangerous as, as we've seen Lamumba. He's showing a little faint now before he throws the punch. And, uh, yeah, yep, is it a little bit of danger now coming from Lumumba? 
This is where McCrory doesn't want to trade with him. He wants to just to back off out of there, keep the chin down and get out of trouble. Don't trade at this point. The pace will slow down maybe in about half a minute or so, then McCrory can come back in again. So word from McCrory's corner, Bo Willie, but he's quite happy with the way it's going, but he wants to try and get his man to back the number up a bit. Uh, I think they're relying on the, the Kenyan blowing a bit of steam towards the end of the contest now. He's, he's been known to fade a little bit. Well, Lumumba seems to do his best work at the start of every round. So it'd be good policy for McCrory just to be a little bit careful for the first uh, minute or so and then come in to do some work in the last two minutes and uh, to win the round. But uh, Lumumba has been very dangerous at the start of this round. Minute to go in the fifth. I think all that American sparring, and particularly with the, the hard man Tyson, uh, has made. To, McCrory durable, Jim, but I'd like to see him get back to a bit of boxing. He could do that. He certainly did in his amateur days, anyway. So he's taken that little right hand over the top from Lumumba. McCrory hasn't been quite so effective in this round. And there again, that's that left hook a couple of times. It's uh, got him out of trouble and put Lumumba in trouble. It's really working well for him today. There it is again. Keep going into that left hook. And the crowd on their feet here. Are we going to get... Yet another sensation in an ITV fight. It doesn't stop happening. And they haven't heard the bell, though. I don't think but Randy Newman's querying. He's saying, has the bell gone? Yes, it has. Well, I tell you, it's, it's almost getting a waterfall on him there to try and pull him together. The guy in his corner has worked with a lot of American fighters. The man on the outside is 78 years old, Eddie Matthews, who's handled world champions over the years. So let's have a look with our overhead camera at this replay, Jim. Where's well, the left hook? Once again, late in the round, and the, the left hook has put Lumumba in all sorts of trouble. Once again, I think McCrory is one clean shot away from finishing it here. Look at Lumumba all over the place, doesn't know where to go. Again, he's doing the wrong thing. He should be clutching hold here or taking account. Second out, round ten. Tenth round of this vacant cruiserweight championship for the International Boxing Federation version, 13 stone 8 and uh, Britain's Clem McCrory Jim White and I have him ahead now with uh, Patrick Lumumba alright, he almost finished it at the start, but we're hanging in there by the 10th round, this very difficult customer, who always looks as though he's going to fall over the Kenyan, but doesn't Well, from the training reports, we, we would think that the core is trained the hardest of the two. And the inactivity of Lumumba has obviously gone against him here, 13 months out. Yeah, well, Lumumba's wasted a lot of punches, wasted a lot of moves. Whereas McCrory's kept nice and compact, uh, always in control of what he's been doing. It really has been a first-class performance so far from McCrory. plus 50 members of his own family. Good 
good smart round here by McCrory, isn't it? Yeah, but it's been a good smart fight all the way through. Complaining about uh, Lumumba's head there, I think a little clash of heads inside. But obviously, they're both feeling the pace now, but uh, McCrory's still making sure Lumumba doesn't land any of these punches. When they get inside, he's tying him up, leaning on him, pushing him back, maybe breaking a few rules. But uh, it's the right thing to do. I certainly feel he's in front, and I think he feels the same. Well, for his sake, let's hope the judges from Virginia, Chicago, and New York also agree with that if it goes 12. Referee doesn't vote. through this fellow's mind now. He's a long way from home, isn't he? He's uh, living in Cleveland at the moment. Swedish national citizen comes from Kenya. And here he is in the, in the heart of Geordie Land. Oh, there's a good local, isn't it? They'll feed us from Petman. Tim Healy. Don't have to ask who he's supporting. Round 11. Round 11. So six minutes to go now. Can McCrory become the first world champion from this part of the world? First to challenge for it anyway. And uh, with cleaner punch and a more effective hitting, Jim White and I certainly have him ahead. But we're wondering how the American scoring is going to go. Well, at the end of the last couple of rounds, Lumumba himself's going back to his corner, shaking his head. It's as though he even feels himself things are not going his way. I certainly have uh, McCrory in front. His punching has been better all the way through. But uh, he hasn't got too much in hand that he can afford to, to start backing off. He'll have to keep pumping out the punches and keep in the fight. Yeah, strange enough, the uh, Bo Williford and McCrory's corner just signaled to us that he thinks his man's miles ahead. I would say there's no doubt about it, Jim, but, you know, we've, we've been around enough to know you can't really tell how the Americans are viewing it, the American judges. Well, I mean, you have to ask yourself how much success has Lamumba had, and you can't ever really remember him having a real good round. But we can remember plenty of good bursts of punches from McCrory all the way through. A couple of times he almost had Lamumba out of there. I can't see any way he's not in front at this point. Lumumba, but uh, for some reason or other he's still standing up. Can he make it or not? What a good conclusive victory now. It would be for McCrory. So there's Lumumba shaking his head again. I think he's had enough. I think he knows who the better man is. Just look at the crowd now on the feet there. They're sensing their man's in there. Randy Newman will give the number every chance, but he's getting nearer as though he's going to dive in. Watch this now. No, he can only break them at this point. He's using the rope to almost prop himself up there, doesn't he? Exaggerates the pain a bit, I suspect, the Mumba. Look at that. Well, 
doesn't need more than this uh, shower bath that they're giving Lumumba now with a round to go. And he really is out on his feet there, totally exhausted. The referee's just gone over and said, is everything okay there? Jim, this is where he's really under pressure. It's all over get, by the shouting there now. There goes the left hook again. And at this point, I don't think Macron realised how badly shaken Lumumba was. They were into a clinch just after this, but he really was badly shaken. Another lovely left hook. So it's nice and calm and a bit collected now in that corner and uh, have that little friendly kiss there. They've got a great bond there. Second goal! First and final this round! Championship for us, he's saying, is he's coming up for the last round and the crowd on their feet. What a good sporting crowd they are anyway. Well, the 11th was another big round for Matori. I can't see any way he's not at least four rounds in front here, Reg. Yes, I'm certainly not arguing with that. There might be even more because he might, they might have given a full point in those rounds, the two that uh, McCrory had this fellow rolling all over the place. story Jim, isn't it? the fellow had to go to the states to earn some money sparring he was on the dole he had a winning uh, a winning run that then turned to a bad losing run almost near retiring well it certainly paid off everything it's uh, what i've noticed so, so much about him tonight too is his concentration I mean, 12 rounds he's been under pressure for a lot of those rounds his concentration has never lapsed he's always kept his wits about him and kept everything under control. As I said earlier, it's the best performance I've ever seen from McCrory. And there's no way he's not going to go home world champion tonight. I don't think Lumumba has even the strength and the power now to trouble him. Well, I think the, the chance says it all there. With 60 seconds to go now, a little bit of boxing history being made. Introductions of new weights, I realise that. And uh, it's a little easier to win these days in terms of so many available. So it looks like being a championship fight without clean knockdowns but on the other hand look the mum has been more than once in trouble to say the least so the countdown has really begun now and it's McCrory all the way and it's, he can really afford to take a few chances now and make absolutely sure he's coming in away with punches right above us on the ropes here and there it is the crowd know it, certainly McCrory knows it, and the Mumba's walking around, head down, and the security are all around the ring like sentinels there to stop anybody diving in before the decision is announced.
Patrick scores the contest 116 111. Judge Michael Liana scores the contest 118 111. Your winner and new cruiserweight champion, Glenn McCauley! And there it is then, unanimous decision. 118, 110, 118, 111, 116, 111. So he really won it in style there. Glenn McCauley, ladies and gentlemen, the IBF World Cruiserweight Champion, Glenn McCauley! So there it is, the IBF belt. Glenn McCrory, many congratulations. The Northeast first world champion. You must be delighted you had the fight of your life in front of your own people tonight. Uh, it's, it's a dream come true. It's a dream that I've, I've cherished since I was 12. Many people said I would never get here. Proved them all wrong. I'm here tonight, champion of the world. Jim Watt, who's had the same world champion feeling, said he's never, ever seen you fight better. Would you agree with that? Uh, I, I never, I've never wanted something so much. I've never tried as hard for something so much and yeah i've never been as happy we thought you might have ended it in the very first round yeah i, I caught him on a, a great shot and I, I tried real hard to finish him but he's a kid you old pro yeah he's worked long and hard with tyson and i was just glad to hurt him but uh, i kept my composure yeah, it, it got grueling through 12 rounds and i kept on top all the time and never let him get the initiative i can remember you if you'll forgive me for saying so, you've had a far hard fight already, so you're not going to hit me. Is that a fat heavyweight going nowhere? That's right. That's right. And now you're champion of the world. Well, I've got some, some fabulous people behind us now. Bo Willowitz, Cedric Kushner. Yeah, I'd like to thank them. John Spensley. Yeah, people who's worked very hard in getting us here. Yeah, they've, all the, yeah, they've had lots of faith in us. And I, yeah, I'm just proud to do it for them, to do it for my wife. And to do it most of all for the Northeast. I was going to say that a final word about the support uh, you had here tonight. You uh, lived up thousands of people with you, didn't you? It's, it's fabulous. <laughs> it's.